What's up everyone? I'm Miranda. And I'm Hotek. And this is the REI Co-op Gear Guide. Right now we're going to be talking about this year's best backpacking packs that you can find at REI. So to pick these packs, we looked at customer reviews and we talked to our customers members in the store while we're fitting them for their new packs. And our first category are weekend packs. So when we talk about a weekend pack, we're looking at something between 35 and 50 liters. Our top pick for this category is the women's Maven 45 and the men's Paragon 48 by Gregory. So just high level, what we think is really cool about these packs, uh, they're pretty durable, they're lightweight, and they're also really feature rich, especially for their size. Uh, and they're also really easy to adjust. Yeah, so yeah. one thing that I really like about them is the way they adjust, they adjust off this little Velcro panel right here. So you've got your size settings right here. So you got medium, medium plus, and then you bust that open, you pull that out and you'll have large and large plus. Um, when I'm talking to customers about packs, I spend a lot of time focusing on the back plate and the suspension. And this one's got a really, really nice one. So what's going on here is that you have a back plate that fits very, very close to your body, yeah. but it's slashed out of all these little triangles here. So you get a lot of airflow. So even though you're carrying the weight nice and close to your spine, it's not gonna be super, super hot. So you won't get one of those like super sweaty t-shirt sort of vibes. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sweaty t-shirt vibe. Uh, yeah, and it's also like a pretty comfortable system. So we tend to recommend these packs for weekend switches like one night or two nights, or if it's really lightweight summer gear, it might be three nights. Yeah. If it's a winter, it's that. probably only one night. Uh, but they're not so, they don't sit so far away from your back that they're gonna be uncomfortable uh, or if you're not used to wearing a pack. Yeah. So for some people, these are good choices as their first pack for backpacking. Yeah. I also like the, them as a first choice because they, they come with stuff. So there's a rain cover built into the pack. It's in here, which means you don't have to go buy your own rain cover. And that's always cool. You know, I'll save yeah. you. Just side note on the rain cover, it's not, it's like the perfect size for this pack. So if you think you're gonna be strapping a lot of stuff to the exterior of the pack, it's probably not gonna be the right size, I guess. Yeah, I mean, so one thing I tell people a lot when they're tooling up and they're getting their gear for the first time is you might want to buy your pack last um, because the if you're buying kind of a lower price point tent and you're buying a lower price point you know, uh, sleeping bag and uh, pad, then it's all going to be pretty bulky. Totally. And you want to have an idea that it's all going to fit in there. So, you know, once you once you grab all that stuff, you can go get yourself, you know, the pack that's going to fit all of your gear in there and you can get a rain cover. It's going to fit over your pack. Right. And we, you know, we tend to tell people that if it's your first time backpacking, your gear is probably going to be a little bit bulkier. It's yeah. going to be a little bit heavier. And so a 45 and a uh, 48 liter pack might not be the right size for you. They might just be a little bit small. Uh, this pack does come in a 45, 55, and 65, and this comes in a 48, 58, and 68. So if you really like all of the features and you like the fit of the pack, you can always get something larger if you need to. Uh, a couple of really cool things about this pack. It is lightweight, but it does have a lot of pockets. It has a lot of places for you to organize things, which can be really great, especially when you're figuring out how you want to store your gear. Um, so you have this stow pocket on the outside, which is great for an extra layer. You have pockets in the lid of the pack, and then you have these straps on the bottom for attaching a sleeping pad, as well as a bottom compartment, which will let you put your sleeping bag down here. And then you also have a sunglass holder. You love the sunglass holder. Way cooler than it looks. <laughs> so. You have this little spot here where you can stow your sunglasses and then this will wrap around the nose piece on your sunglasses. And that's the Paragon and the Maven. And um, our next category of packs is gonna be multi-day packs, which are 50 to 80 liter packs. And our picks for the best uh, multi-day packs that you can find at REI will be the Atmos and the Aura 65 AG. So probably the coolest thing about the Aura and the Atmos AG is that anti-gravity or AG suspension system. Osprey has designed just a really comfortable pack that's designed to carry heavy loads for a long period of time, uh, which is pretty neat about these guys. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's awesome. I mean, if somebody's coming into my store, my go-to pack, the first pack I fit them into, assuming everything else is going to be the Aura or the Atmos, um, I just think that it fits almost everybody great. Um, it's really, really comfortable. Um, it, the way it's built is that 
your back is gonna sit along this mesh plate and then the actual weight is gonna stay about this far away from you. So you get a lot of airflow, which avoids the sweaty t-shirt sweaty thing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> totally a thing. And because it's so soft here, it, you, your body can be almost any shape and it just it's not gonna punch in on you. It's just gonna be really, really soft and even. It really um, is comfortable to carry for a long period of yeah. time, uh, which is really neat. It kind of feels like a big hug. Yep. Just like yeah. The huggy. the the belt is very assertive. Assertive. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Huggy or assertive. One Whichever thing to, way keep, you want in, to put it. keep in mind with these packs is that you can adjust the hip belt. Yep. Uh, but if you are a little bit wider in the hips, these packs might not fit you right, just because they're assertive. They're, they're pretty spring loaded. So there's a lot of different ways you can adjust this pack. So you can adjust the harness up here. So there's two plastic switches here where my thumbs are. And you basically lift that up and you can slide this guy up and down on a little fabric rail. Um, you can also adjust the hip belt. So there's a Velcro panel here that you break away and then you can adjust the hip belt and you can orientate it off these little caroms here. And you can even make it asymmetric. So this guy's got one here and on the right side, you've got two out. Speaking of features, there are a couple cool features on this pack that we can call out. So the lid of the pack is totally removable. And then there's a flap on the inside that they call the flapjack. Yeah. yeah. They call it the secondary lid. Sure, secondary lid, you which uh, makes this, can make this pack a little bit lighter if you're not going to use the lid. You also have two pockets on the exterior, and then you have this stow pocket as well. These pockets don't go through to the interior main compartment of the bag. So the only way to get to that is by going through the top or going through the bottom sleeping bag compartment that has a fold down divider. So pack smart, uh, don't pack anything on the very inside that you think you're gonna need while you're on your trip. And oh, there's also this cool water bottle compartment or pocket. <laughs> uh, so you have a pocket here, but you can actually put your water bottle away while you're wearing the pack. So rather than trying to do some kind of like awkward reach over thing. This actually goes go in like this and then you can push it all the way back. So yeah, really easy to use while you're hiking. My favorite thing about it, um, Miranda doesn't like it as much, is the <laughs> stow on the go, um, stow on the go uh, trekking pole system. So what it lets you do is basically let you forward carry your poles. So if you need to go hands free really, really quick, what you do is you take the bottom of the pole and you push it right through here. And then the front end, the handle on the pole will go through this little, um, this little wire right here. And then there's a little switch right here. So you can pull that down and that'll tighten that up. And you can basically wear it kind of like a sword right up front. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. So our next category for packs are extended trips. And we talk about an extended trip pack. We're looking at something that's 75 liters and above. Our top picks for this category are the women's Deva 80 and the men's Baltoro 85 by Gregory. So we really like these packs because they're, they're premium packs. They're very, very feature rich. They got tons of pockets, lots of ways in and out. Um, they're heavy bags, but they're heavy bags because they come with a big, heavy suspension. And when you've got a beefy suspension like that, it means you can carry a lot of weight. That is the entire point of an extended pack, right? It's not just about the capacity, but you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff that's gonna end up being heavy. Totally. Uh, and like Hotek mentioned, these packs have a lot of features. So. They've got a ton of different pockets. You've got two pockets on the lid system, which actually don't touch, they don't overlap, which is nice. And then underneath it comes with a rain cover, and this is another pocket underneath the lid. And you actually have three ways to access the interior of this bag. So you obviously have through the top, you have top access, and then you have bottom access, which is where the sleeping bag compartment is, and that is totally removable. Uh, and then you also have uh, the U-panel access. So on the front here, you can unzip this panel and just open the whole thing up like a suitcase to get to your stuff. There's also a couple different pockets on the, or two different types of pockets on the hip belt. So, oh, sorry. Before I talk about the hip belt, you also have this stow for the water bottle. So kind of like the uh, Atmos and Aura, you can easily stow a water bottle while you're hiking, which is just kind of a, a really nifty thing that I'm glad they thought about. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so then on the hip belt, you have two different types of pockets. You have on one side a mesh pocket, and then on the other side, you actually have a water repellent or waterproof pocket. So you have a zipper on here that is waterproof. So this is a great spot for storing a GPS or for keeping your cell phone or camera or whatever. So there's not a lot of adjustability for the spines. There's only a little bit of length just here and here, two settings. 
but you can swap out the um, the harness for like totally different straps. You can adjust a lumbar pad. There's a plate right here that you can pull out so you can control how much lumbar um, padding you have. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> and then this belt can be completely removable. You can switch it out for a different size of belt. So the thing that makes that really helpful, right, is that if you if your spine length fits the size of the pack, but you are like a little bit broader in the chest, or you need more distance around your hips, you can just swap those yep. and make the pack fit yeah. you better. Did that for someone just the other day at the store. Sweet, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, and then the other really, well, the other really cool thing about these packs is that they come with a removable water reservoir that turns into a day pack that Gregory calls the Sidekick. So you can actually take out the whole reservoir sleeve from this pack, and if you want, you can remove the sleeping pad straps on the exterior of the pack, and then have a hip belt on the small pack. Uh, and this might seem like sort of a silly thing, but since these are extended trip packs, if you are going to be base camping and taking day trips, you essentially have a day pack built into these bags. Yeah. It's pretty you can rad. Just pack in and then switch to your smaller pack once Heck you're there. Heck yeah. So our next category is gonna be the best packs underneath $160, and that is going to be the REI Co-op Flash 45. So as we mentioned, these packs are on the lower end of the cost spectrum, um, but they are also designed for lightweight gear. So if you've already blown all your money on an expensive tent, not an expensive sleeping bag, but that's lightweight, this is probably a good pack for you. Uh, the material's pretty thin, but... It still feels tanky to me. Like, yeah. I don't, it doesn't feel like the kind of bag you need to baby. Some some really lightweight packs, you gotta be a little careful on what you do with it. I think mean, you can kick this thing around a little bit and it'll be all right. Yeah, totally, it's pretty durable. Um, and it's also modular, so you can remove the lid uh, and you can also adjust where the compression straps are in your pack, which is really great for avoiding any sort of pressure points. Um, there are a couple kind of cool pockets on here. So you have the larger stretch pocket in the front. Um, and then there's also these water bottle pockets on the side that will accommodate a larger, they have a snap and will accommodate a larger Nalgene, but they'll also accommodate a smaller water, bo water bottle, which some lightweight hikers really like to have. Yeah. These packs do come in a 55 liter size as well. Where they'll have a kind of a couple different features. Um, the other thing I really like about this bag is the way the back plate feels. Um, yeah. it's, it's really, really light, but there's some decent offset off the foam. So you get some good airflow along these notches here. And if you look at it, there's, um, there's a little hollow inside the foam right there. And that's really, really awesome because it really lets you nestle your hip bone and just kind of guide it into that slot right there. And it just feels really, really good, even though it's a really skinny, lightweight pack. Well, that's it for the best packs you can find at REI this year. If you have any other questions, you can check out our other videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do have a pack or you have questions about packs that you want to get it fitted, you can always come into the REI and near we'll you. We'll square you up. Yeah, we'll be happy to help you out. Sweet.